Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an XP farm for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I usually record the Java Edition for the game, but I just realized so many of you guys play Bedrock Edition that's just unbelievable, so I just decided to make a few tutorials on Bedrock Edition. The type of XP farm we're going to be making in this video requires this thing. Yeah, a monster spawner pretty much. This is a very good seed if you want a monster spawner right off spawn. I'm gonna put it up on the screen here. So something you want to do is extend all of these walls by five. They have to be five blocks away from the monster spawner. In all directions except the top because the top doesn't really matter. All the sides and the bottom matter. Okay, we're done digging. This took me like 8 minutes and I was on creative as well. I'm probably slow, but I presume it's gonna take you like about 20 minutes to do this. Okay, so you want to make a hole over here. Pretty much under the mob spawn. Okay, I also placed these over here because I think I made this place a little bit too big. It's meant to be 4 blocks away. So now you have this place done. So you want to go here. Dig a little bit down. Just make sure the mob doesn't die. You have to make sure the uh, monster doesn't die when they fall down. Because then you're gonna get less XP. And we need the most XP to enchant our stuff, am I right? You'll want to make yourself a little bit of space here. Place a piston over here. This is where the mob is gonna be falling down. Place a redstone torch. Place a block over the redstone torch. Like this. Then place this over here. And then redstone over here. And now this thing caused... I'm not sure how to call this. I'm just gonna call this a loop. So we have the loop over here. Now you need a trident. You have to throw it somewhere over here. So pretty much the piston keeps the trident moving. So the monster actually keeps on taking damage from the trident. And it counts as your kill as well for the game. You might want to place some slabs over here to make sure you don't accidentally collect the tridents. Or the monster doesn't somehow get out of here to kill you. We're gonna destroy all the torches, because torches spawn monsters from spawning. Instantly few monsters spawn, I actually didn't expect this to happen. This quickly. Okay, I threw the trident. Oh, the first one fell. And they died, giving me XP. Another one. You see, it's important to have these here. It's important to have this salvage, because the monsters are just gonna come to you. And the zombies keep on taking damage, they keep on dying. I'm gonna change my game mode to survival over here. See, I, I'm already at 5 XP. This is honestly decent. I'm gonna try to make a tutorial like this for the Java edition. Because the Bedrock edition and the Java edition aren't really the same thing. Java is better though. I think, it's my opinion, okay? I think Java is better. Whoa, we got a zombie villager this time. And I'm already nearly level 6. You can also place a hopper down there if you want to, to be honest. Because sometimes they actually do drop very good things. This one dropped a golden helmet. Guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I also make different content on this channel. I make Minecraft videos, I make reaction videos, many other funny videos. So if you would like to subscribe, please do. It would be really awesome. I hope you found this very useful and you made your XP farm work properly. Have an awesome day. Goodbye.